just volume here, that sounds really loud. Let me just check my settings. For some reason it's all different on EU. Okay. I think that's good. No matter what, certain teams, usually the top teams, um, have showed uh, a lot of willingness to play even through the the crap and stuff that's happened. So, a lot of props to them. Taking a look at the two different teams, we've got Cayman, uh, he's going to be playing the Probe for Friend Band Dream Team. Meanwhile, Escaho going to be picking up the Drone. Possibly going for the drone here just so that he can try and uh, oh, kind of avoid the lag as much as possible oh, instead of the queen. Uh, might also work better in their composition. We've got Titanium picking his usual stalker. Meanwhile, looking over at the other team, uh, the Friend Band Dream Team, we've got Battle Dwarf as the SCV and Spunks as the queen. Kind of curious to see what, uh, what Colossus is going to pick here, aka Rusty. Four, is he going with the? Yep, he three, is. He's going with the. Two, um, the sentry, his no. standard unit. Escaho going to grab the ball real quick to start things off. Moving on through the middle, doing a little juke and dance. Maybe he's playing along to his own kind of music. Oh, Rusty going to miss the ball there. That's a pretty crucial miss. Uh, it does manage to steal it back from uh, Spunks, and he's going to phase right through. Kicking the ball forward, Rusty moving into a good position here. He's going to get a goal right off the bat. Nice play there by Grand Strikers. Rusty with some slick moves. Uh, he did drop the ball, but he managed to pick it back up. Escajon going to drop a Ninus. Manages to take the ball away from Spunk. Spunk's going to grab it. Looking for somebody to pass to. Goes to Cayman on the sidelines. Titanium now with the ball for Grand Strikers. Moving along the lower side. Passing the ball forward. Trying to keep Battle Dwarf away, bounds. but runs into a shield. Forced out of bounds. Battle Dwarf now with the ball for Friend Band Dream Team. Going to pass it on up. Titanium is going to push Cayman out of the way. Rusty going to actually uh, phase out there and uh, take the ball. Kind of interesting. Uh, I think he was trying to avoid a clean grab. Not entirely sure. Cayman pushing the ball along the sidelines. Rusty going to go ahead and phase back. More uh, ball action going up the sidelines. Spunks now with the ball for Friend Man Dream Team. Friend Man Dream Team trying to keep control here, keep themselves in the game. Scores 1 0 in favor of Grand Strikers. Battle Dwarf looking for somebody to pass to. Oh, my colors are wrong, I just realized. All right, Titanium passing up through the middle to Rusty, trying to find something, trying to find that play. It's not going to happen. Friend Band Dream Team now with the ball in control. Battle Dwarf looking for Cayman, trying to find Cayman, does a little juke on Titanium, manages to get past with a nice little juke. Oh, Titanium boosts Rusty forward. Rusty grabs the ball, saves the goal. Beautiful play there by Titanium. Escaho now with the ball for Grand Strikers, moving up along the side, trying to find somebody to pass to. Finds Titanium, yes, yes, no, maybe so. Uh, Titanium can't get in position there. Spunks manages to steal the ball away. They're looking for Battle Dwarf on the side. Battle Dwarf sneaking the ball through. Manages to hold on. Titanium pulses Escajo forward. Came in looking for a shot. Not going to happen. Rusty sneaks the ball past. Uses his invulnerability to move through. Uh, Escajo now trying to find Titanium. There he goes. Titanium now with the ball. Passing the ball up. Good positioning here for Titanium, but he's pulled back by Spunks. Titanium now trying to get in front for Rusty. Rusty gets pulled back by Spunks again. Spunks is down low on the mana, though. Came in now with the ball. Good pass to Battle Dwarf. Titanium going to uh, blink in, though, and try and sneak the ball away. Not going to happen. Battle Dwarf now with the ball. Still moving on forward here for Friend Band Dream Team. Battle Dwarf could have a goal here. It's looking very strong. Yes. No. Right on the right on the line. But there he goes. He's going to throw out the shield wall and push the ball in. One to one is the score now. Teams are tied up. Rusty possibly doing a little uh, decision making here on some plays. Might be considering a unit change. I don't think so. Uh, just going to wait on some energy. 
Escaho now with the ball. Trying to find somebody to pass to. Looks for Titanium. Finds Titanium. Titanium tries to pass through. Doesn't get through that uh, Vortex. Titanium can't hang on to the ball. Spunk's managed to take it away. Titanium going to blink back and just uh, try to clean up. Rusty looking for the ball. Not going to happen. He goes invis invulnerable just a little too early. Trying to predict a little bit, probably through the lag. Oh, Escaho almost managed to sneak the ball away. Doesn't happen, though. Titanium trying to grab the ball. No, he can't grab it. Battledorf along the sidelines. Passing for Spunks. Spunks manages to grapple it out. Looking for somebody to pass to. Finds Cayman. Cayman gets the ball, but he can't hold on to it. Titanium sneaks it high. Battledorf now with the ball here for Friend Band Dream Team. Spunks. Spunks trying to find the shot. He finds Titanium instead. Titanium now being blocked with that shield wall. Passes on up to Rusty. Spunks grabs it right back, though. Good play there by Spunks. Probably saved uh, a very open field. Uh, Battle Dwarf with the ball. Escaho with the Nidus. Nice save there by Esco. As Titanium looking for Rusty. Not going to happen. Esco can't get the save there, though. And that's not going to happen. Kilnoss going to switch out here. AK Rusty. Going to pick up on the probe. Probably switch to the bigger screen. That would be much smarter. A lot faster as well. I was wondering why that was going so slow. Kind of an idiot there. Goober moment. Goober moment. All right. Battle Dwarf now looking for Spunks. Finds him. Spunks trying to make some forward movement here. Escoho switched over to the Queen as well. He's going to grab uh, Battle Dwarf, pull him back. Uh, Rusty can't hang on to the ball through Cayman. Uh, there he goes. Manages to sneak it back. No, not going to happen. Rusty can't get in front. Cayman keeps moving the ball forward. There we go. There's the pulse from Titanium. Rusty staying out of that uh, gravity well. Battle Dwarf, good positioning. Manages to grab the ball. Spunks holds on to it, though. Titanium got caught looking. Battle Dwarf looking for Spunks. Spunks manages to find him. And Titanium trying to get into a position to stop the ball. Rusty with that uh, gravity well. Keeps the ball out of the goal for a little while longer. Friend Band Dream Team in the lead. 2-1 to one versus Grand Strikers. Uh, Spunks there manages to grab Titanium and the ball. Titanium now fast break. Titanium is all alone. He's trying to move forward. He's got Cayman right behind him. Can't hang on though as the shield wall goes down. There we go. Titanium picks it back up. Cayman sneaks it away. Spunks now in position with the ball. Spunks might be holding on to it here. No, he's going to pass it up to Battledorf. Battledorf kicks it forward. And who's going to hang on to the ball for halftime? There goes the shield wall. The pulse is going to be Battledorf. Battledorf hanging on for Friend Band Dream Team. Looking strong here. So far, Friend Band Dream Team doing a great job. Moving on to the second half. No unit changes there on Friend Five, Band Dream Team. Four, three, they are two, liking that composition. One, Meanwhile, Grand oh. Strikers staying with their uh, ending composition for the first half. Rusty trying to out juke Spunks. Not going to happen. Esco trying to find somebody to pass to. Rusty trying to hang on to the ball. There's some ball control there for you. Looking for Titanium. Looking for Titanium. Not going to happen. He tries to pass up to Esco. Esco uh, managed to get the ball taken away by Cayman. Cayman loses it again to Esco. Now Esco moving the ball forward. Pass to Titanium through the middle. Titanium looking for something. He's going to blink forward. Pulses away. Spunks, nice play there, but the shield wall going down there from Battledorf. Titanium sneaks around, tries to hold on to the ball. Not going to happen. Cayman picks it up. Cayman. Cayman probably going to pass to Spunks. Escaho in good position, though. Both players low on health. Rusty snagging the ball. Trying to find Titanium. Can he pass to Titanium? Can he find the shot? He's pinging. He's looking for something. Rusty gets to Titanium. Titanium gets the ball stolen away by Battledorf. And Escaho going to grab the ball. Moving it forward. Titanium. Clean shot. There we go. Two to two. Even game here, Grand Strikers versus Friend Band Dream Team. Grand Strikers predicted probably to win the tournament. Um, and they are being given a very hard time here by the Friend Band Dream Team. Friend Band Dream Team in a good spot there, almost grabbing a goal. Escaho going to be pulsed back and manages to take it away, though. Nice play there by Titanium and Escaho. 
Titanium out gets pushed out of bounds. Beautiful shield wall is coming out from Battle Dwarf so far. If he's a dwarf, then, well, he's he's definitely staying true to his name because he is busy battling. Esco getting a little juked there, and both queens just trying to grapple each other. Uh, Rusty, a.k.a. Colos, just getting the ball out of the zone. Titanium going to lose it, but he picks it back up, manages to get the ball away for now. Rusty trying to get in better position. Spunks with a great pass. Esco, beautiful save! And he can't grab the rebound, though. And that's going to be 3-2 to two in favor of Friend Band Dream Team. We're going to have a sub out here. Rusty switching to the Zealot. Going to my unit of choice. Wants to be a little bit more aggressive. Thing with the Zealot, though, is um, you can't really... I don't know. You can't you can't claim a zone as easily as you can with, say, the Probe. Um, you can you can make some really nice aggressive plays. You can you can you know push the other team out of the zone, uh, which might be what he thinks the, the problem is here. Um, so he's just trying to change things out, change things up a little bit. Maybe trying to get them out of their comfort zone. They're getting some good passes, but I don't know if this is the right choice um, in this setup. Uh, oh. Escaho gonna have to let that ball go past. Can't grab onto it. Another goal for friend band dream team. Four to two. Let's we'll see if Grand Strikers here can uh, come up with something to come back. Again, we are playing on EU for this game. Uh, Titanium going to switch on over to the Immortal. I'm actually really liking that choice. Uh, I think it combos just a little bit better with the Zealot in this situation, but uh, we'll see. Uh, Kami manages to sneak past. Rusty can't quite get in position. He's going to use a charge. Yes, he will. I don't think he can do it. There he goes. Titanium sneaks it away. That Kalai Fist. Esco with a nice grab, trying to get Titanium in position. Titanium tries to push the ball away from Spunk. It's not going to happen. Spunk's now in control of the ball. Looking for somebody to pass to. He's going to find Cayman. Esco just moving back a little bit, getting into a different position. Trying to play a little bit more defensively. Going to go ahead and grapple the ball. Looking for somebody to pass to. Going to Titanium. Titanium. Move the ball up. Trying to get something happening. Rusty. Gonna waste a charge there. I don't know if I agree with that. Um, he's, he's not really taking advantage of the double push from the Zealot yet. Um, I think he could have double pushed there and stole the ball. Um, anyway, Rusty uh, does use both pushes there. He manages to sneak the ball out. Passing on up towards Titanium. Titanium going to avoid that grapple. Beautiful play there by Titanium. Titanium is in a good spot. The shield wall down maybe a little bit early. He's going to kick it forward. Trying to get into a spot here. He does not want Spunks to steal it. Titanium shoots. He scores. 4-3 to three in favor of the Grand, uh, in favor of Friend Band Dream Team. Grand Strikers only one goal down now. They are definitely trying to come back here. Two minutes, 23 seconds left in the second half. Spunk's going to pull Titanium out of position, and Rusty not really able to get anything going there. He's going to run into the shield wall, and there's a good grab by Esco. The ball stays just outside of the goal. Titanium passing it on up to Rusty. Rusty looking for somebody to get the ball out of this freaking zone, man. He's trying to do anything he can. Kicks the ball. Spunks steals it away, though. Spunks with a nice play. Titanium trying to grab the ball. Not going to happen. Esco, there's a scrum. It's rusty. There he goes, charging up. That was a nice charge, but he just couldn't get in position. He doesn't have enough energy to get those pushes out. Uh, Titanium tries to push in, trying to grab the ball. Not going to happen. Spunks with beautiful positioning here. He's going to open up the field. Came in, moving along the side, looking for Battle Dwarf for that finisher, that alley-oop. Passing it on up. Esco with the grab. Came and passed right into it. And uh, ball almost goes out here. Rusty trying to juke and trying to force them to push the ball out. And who did that actually go out for? Oh, wow. Grand Strikers hanging onto the ball. They need to score. They need to score on this play. They need to make this happen or they will be losing this game. Again, this is a very close game, though. We're going to be moving to North America for the second game. So if Grand Strikers uh, just completely outscore Friend Band Dream Team on that uh, on that. Um, server then uh you know they're going to be an advantage for the third game esco looking for the grab not going to happen five to three favor friend band dream team that's probably gg see how grand strikers handle this one no thor there's no thor here so they're not trying for the super big comeback they just maybe want to try and even this up a little bit yeah it's not going to happen grand striker is going to take the loss here on the uh on the first game of the series well played 
by both teams. I also would like to point out that uh, Friend Band Dream Team agreed to play this match uh, one person down because Grand Strikers uh, is missing their, their other players. So, bully, bully for them. Spunk's going to take the MVP. I definitely have to agree with that. Positioning was excellent in that game. Very, very top notch. Made some really, really smart grabs. Uh, kept Grand Strikers out of their comfort zone. It was very nice. Alright, so we're hopping over to NA here. We're gonna get the next game going. Alright, we're gonna have game two. Friend Band Dream Team versus Grand Strikers. Again, they are playing uh, they are playing one person down, both teams. We are on the NA server for game number two. Oh, wait, no, this is Four Strikers, One Cup. What the hell? Why is Spunk's on Four Strikers, One Cup? They just recruit all those people? I don't know. Well, we're going to have uh, Spunks active in Battle Dwarf playing for game two here with Titanium, Mescajo, and Colos, aka Rusty, playing for Grand Strikers. Taking a look at the teams, we're going to have this uh, slightly different lineup here for Friend Band Dream Team. Battle Dwarf has switched on over to the Stalker, and Active is going to be playing the SCV. Four, Taking a look at Grand Strikers, we've got Colossus going to be playing the Zergling, Eskimo going to be playing the Queen, and Titanium going to be playing the Stalker. Oh, Eskimo missing the starting grab there. That's a pretty big mistake.
That's a pretty big mistake. So now, uh, friend band dream team with the control to start things off. Active. Can't hang on to the ball, though. Titanium forced out of bounds. Kolos with a good push. Gets Battle Dwarf out of position. Trying to move the ball forward. Battle Dwarf blinks right on top. Titanium with a better blink. Manages to try and move forward. There goes the pulse from Titanium. Kolos can't get in position. He's trying to use the uh, Adrenaline Rush. Gets in position, and there we go. Yes, we can use those. Blue is yellow. You know, they're really close in the color spectrum. Totally not opposite. All right. So, some big plays being thrown out through the middle here. Grand Strikers has gone up by one so far. Um, Titanium out way in front. Should be a pretty easy goal, but he runs into the force field of uh, active. Uh, manages to sneak right through that turret and steal the ball, throwing it right in. Titanium. Putting Grand Strikers up 2-0 so far in this second game. Grand Strikers getting into slightly better position. Esco trying to throw out that predictive grab. Spunk's just going to kind of hang on to it, though. A lot of the European players like to uh, really, really quarterback the ball, you know, and have uh, have the one player play back a bit and, uh, you know, uh, really, really try and control the flow of the game from the get-go. So they hang on to the ball a lot longer. So Esco trying to throw out that predictive grab. Uh, probably... Probably would be good versus the NA players, but uh, the EU guys tend to hang on to the ball a little bit longer. Uh, some nice grabs going out there. Titanium pulsing things away. Active getting in good position, though. Escaho oh. can't sneak in front of him. And there goes a goal for Friend Band Dream Team. Scores 2-1 two two in favor of Grand Striker still, though. We have five minutes left, roughly, in the first half. Friend Band Dream Team. Trying to uh, get the ball moving forward here. Active throughout that shield. Not going to happen. Uh, Grand Strikers with the ball. Nope, they can't hang on to it. Titanium tried to sneak into that grapple and steal the ball back from Spunks, but it didn't happen. Spunks hanging on to the ball as long as possible. Trying to find somebody to pass to. Active going to go ahead and move back. Active just kind of uh, zoning out Escaho a little bit. And Battledorf with some really nice positioning. Blinks forward. Kolos gets pulsed, though, right into the ball. Beautiful play there by Titanium. Hanging on to the ball for Grand Strikers. Titanium now moving along the sidelines. Looking for somebody to pass to or just to get past Spunk's. Not going to happen. Titanium. Titanium gets by. Finds Kolos. Kolos moved along the sidelines. Adrenaline rush being thrown out. Can he move? Kolos trying to juke out that grapple. He sort of does. Goal. Does manage to get past regardless. And he scores the goal. 3-1 to one now in favor of Grand Strikers. Remember, Grand Strikers have to beat five goals to determine where the third game is played. of a scrum going on there. Spunk's trying to hang on to the ball. Not going to happen. Titanium way out in front now. Titanium moving the ball forward for the Grand Strikers. Kolos doing some beautiful blocking. Look at that block. Oh my god. That was ridiculous. Kolos totally blocking active. I mean I, I don't know. I don't know what the proper Zerg terminology is for a cock block. Is it like antenna block or something? I don't know. But he just did that to active. That was that was That was brutal. That was brutal. Kolos hanging out the ball here for Grand Strikers, waiting until the shield wall runs out. Esco with a beautiful pass to Titanium, threading the fucking needle. Now Titanium moving along the sidelines. There goes the beautiful pulse from Battle Dwarf, though. Active gets the shield wall to block Titanium off. Titanium going to be doing a little shucking and jiving as he looks for Kolos down the field. Kolos hangs onto the ball. Active can't sneak past and grab it. Uh, he's going to do a little bit of a juke, passing on to Esco through the middle. Spunk's going to sneak the ball back, though. Titanium looking for the ball. He's going to blink right on top of it. Just kind of hold it there. And he's looking for somebody to pass to. Duke's Battle Dwarf a little bit. Passes the ball to himself. Nope. Battle Dwarf going to retain control. Passing on back to Spunks. Escoho looking for the grab. Not going to happen. Escoho pushes Battle Dwarf out of bounds. Nope. He did have the ball. Okay. I don't know how that worked. It looked like Escoho was still way inside. 
Titanium passes the ball up to Esco. There's a beautiful pulse there. Keeps Esco out of the grapple. And he's going to go ahead and grapple Kolos. Bringing him on up. Gets a little tag team buddy. Kolos moved on forward. Kicking the ball forward. There we go. 5-1. to one. Now in favor of the Grand Strikers. They need one more goal to make sure that they play the third game on NA as well. Friend Band Dream Team got to do something here. Play very defensive maybe. I don't know if they should try to give up on the game at this point, play super defensive. I mean, trying to stop a goal from happening for an entire half is pretty, it's pretty tough. Active now with the ball for Friend Band Dream Team. Spunks with the ball. Looking for somebody to pass to, finds Active, threads the needle. Esco trying to grab the ball, but Active sneaks it right back. Battle Dwarf, very good position here. No, beautiful pulse from Titanium. Kolos moves right in front, sneaks the ball right away from Battle Dwarf. That was almost a sure goal if that didn't happen. Beautiful, beautiful pulse there from Titanium. Titanium looking for the ball on the sidelines. Could they hang on to it for the second half? It is very possible. Grapple coming out there, and Titanium jukes the grapple. So Grand Striker's going to hang on to the ball as well for this half. Pretty brutal. Brutal, brutal, brutal. Five, four, three, two, one, go! Escajo with the ball. Four Grand Strikers. Trying to find probably Titanium. There he goes. Titanium now with the ball. Uh, pulses Battle Dwarf out of there. They're having a little pulse war as Titanium tries to sneak the ball away from Battle Dwarf. Doesn't. Battle Dwarf does pass into Escajo, though. Kolos doing a little bit of the shuck and jive. Trying to get past Spunks. Spunks going to grapple him, uh, but he does manage to get the pass off to Titanium. Titanium looking for something here. He's got that turret to worry about. And Escajo! Sick grab, but he runs into the turret! The turret saves the day! And active! Oh, active. Oh, he just barely went out of bounds. Barely went out of bounds. Titanium trying to pass right into the goal. Not going to happen. Active sneaks the ball away. Sick plays at the goal here from Friend Band Dream Team. Keeping the ball out of the goal. Friend Band Dream Team need to make sure that this goal does not happen. And they need to somehow come back. No. Nope. Game three is definitely on NA now. Grand Strikers looking very strong to win this series. Unless Friend Band Dream Team can come up with some kind of strategy for Game 3. Um, or they can come back in this game. It is still possible. There's still a lot of time left. Kolos trying to find something here. No, Spunks hangs onto the ball. Pass to the Battle Dwarf through the middle. Battle Dwarf trying to find uh, somebody to pass to. Doesn't happen. Runs into Titanium. There goes the Pulse coming from Battle Dwarf. Active in really good position. This is a goal. That is a goal. Another goal here for Friend Band Dream Team. They are definitely still in this, guys. Definitely still in this. Grand Strikers now with the ball. Esco, moving things on forward. Possibly looking for titanium here. Yeah, there he goes. Spunk steals the ball back. Trying to get things moving for Friend Brand Dream Team. Active with some really sick pushing so far. Been playing really well. Uh, Spunks can't hang on to the ball. Esco does manage to steal it. He threw out the grapple as well. He does not have the energy for another grapple. This is another goal here for Grand Strikers. No, oh, McCullough! Oh, no! Oh no, he misjudged the shield. This is still another goal. Oh, sick grapple there by Escajal. Sick grab by Escajal. That, uh, that basically ensured that goal. That was really nice. Friend Band Dream Team going to be doing a little bit of brainstorming here. Trying to think what they can do. Possibly have some subs. Yes, there we go. Subs coming out for Friend Band Dream Team. We've got an active switch on over to the Roach. What the hell was that? No, he has switched back to the Stalker. And Battle Dwarf has now gone as the SCV. Spunks finding Battle Dwarf in the back. Active now with the ball. Moving on forward. He's going to blink forward. Tries to run away from Kolos, but a sick pulse there from Titanium allows Kolos to have the ball yet again. Titanium now with the ball here for his Grand Strikers. Spunks managed to take it away, though. Looking for Battle Dwarf. 
Just keep in control here for Friend Band Dream Team. Just trying to keep the ball moving forward. Active. Can't hang on to the ball. Spunks manages to take it, but passes right into Kolos. Kolos steals it away. And passes on up to Esko. Esko in good position now. He moves forward. But he runs into the shield wall of Battle Dwarf. Sick, sick shield wall there from Battle Dwarf. Nice, nice pass there from Spunks. Grapple from Esko. Passes on up towards Active, though. But Kolos manages to take it away. Kolos with some sick jukes. As now Battle Dwarf passes through the grapple. It's just the tip of the grapple that matters. It's just the tip. Escaho almost had the ball there with shield wall there coming from Battle Dwarf. Again, six, six shield walls. Spunks being kicked out in front with that pulse. No, he can't hang on to it. Coloss. Coloss manages to sneak it away. Spunks getting out of the gravity well. Keep it away. And here we go. Active versus Titanium. Who will be the stronger stalker? It's going to be Titanium. Uh, active going to pulse, uh, pulse and uh, blink back, though. Oh, nice. He avoided that grapple from Escahal. Very well played. Some high-level plays going on here. Lots of juking. Spunks with the ball now for Friend Band Dream Team. Can't get it past Kolos, though. Kolos playing some pretty sick defense. Battle Dwarf getting pushed away by Titanium. Tries to throw a turret down to intercept the ball. Um, I don't know if he was trying to anticipate the lag a little too much, but he just barely missed it. Active. Now with the ball for Friend Band Dream Team. He's trying to move the ball along the sidelines. I think that was probably just a misclick. Clicked it out of bounds, and this could be a goal here. Yep. Goal! Goal number eight for Grand Strikers. Doing really well in the second game here. Seem to be doing much better with the lag. Escaho. Keeping the ball alive here for Grand Strikers. Battledorf sneaks it away. Looking for somebody to pass to. Finds Spunks down low. Coloss is ready. Uses the shield, uses the gravity well. Grabs the ball yet again, moving on forward. Gets him, gets him to block the grapple. Spunks, though, just a little bit faster. Uh, Esco with a beautiful grab. Titanium, nice pushing, which is active, but active manages to hang on. Battle Dwarf now with the ball. He's moving it out for Friend Band Dream Team. He's got nobody to pass to right now, though, so uh, Grand Strikers will be able to move back. Battle Dwarf. Find Spunks. Just trying to hold on to, to control here. Probably impossible at this point to come back, but they are still going to give it their best. Battle Dwarf with the ball again for Friend Band Dream Team. Looking for that other goal. Grand Strikers could be looking for that Salt in the Wounds goal. Kolos now in front. I cannot grab it though. Battle Dwarf sneaks away. And Esco will steal it right back. And Titanium on front runs into the shield wall of Battle Dwarf that has been so prevalent in these games. Active now with the ball for Friend Band Dream Team along the sidelines. Titanium going to grab it right up. Kolos moving forward. And he's going to grab it well, and this is going to be it. This is going to be GG right here. Here we go. 8-2. to two. Game number two for Grand Strikers. Well played. Well played. Um, I got to say the biggest difference there in that game for me was probably I felt like Titanium just uh, was way more on top of things. Attributed to lag or what. Uh, but the, his pulses were really top notch. Uh, he made several, several... Uh, Goals for his team as a playmaker. So, really, really nice. Coloss, solid jukes. Um, but I gotta say, Friend Man Dream Team, they played really well too. Um, you know, they really did. Some really solid shield walls, good grabs. You know, just just Grand Strikers was just playing stronger in those games. In, the, in that game. All right, so we're going to have game three coming up here in just a second. I believe they might be getting this game underway in a second here.
All right, we got game number three about to start up here. Grand Strikers versus Friend Band Dream Team. Oh, Kaoken has finally decided to show his face. I wonder if uh, Friend Band Dream Team is going to get themselves uh, their fourth player for this game. Who was it? It was Active Battle Dwarf Cayman and uh, Blank and Spunks. Is Cayman here? Oh, there he is. They got everybody. I'd much rather watch a 4v4. Alright, looks like we are going to have a 4v4 for the last game. The last game! Series tied 1-1. We are on NA for Game 3 as Grand Strikers, with the better score in the second game, managed to make the third game on NA. Check, check, check. All right, game number three, Grand Strikers vs. Friend Band Dream Team. K.O. Ken has now joined us. We've already got a pretty interesting lineup change. Five, We're going to have Esco playing the Marauder, Kaoken playing the Drone, three, Kroos playing the two, Stalker, and Titanium one, playing the SCV. Very go. interesting. Uh, so big change there. Um, Spunk's going to sneak out right in front, grabbing the ball. Titanium gets juked by Cayman as now Spunk's trying to grab the ball. Esco manages to hang on to it though, pass it forward. Titanium now with the ball. Titanium going to throw down the shield wall. Tries to out juke the front man Dream Team players. Doesn't have Cam Ken now with the ball. Tries to move the ball up the sideline. It's not going to happen. Titanium looking for that free shot. No. He threw down the turret there. I think trying to block the, uh, trying to block the grapple. Esco going to punish. Tries to move the ball towards Titanium. Titanium getting like triple covered right now though, so he's not going anywhere. Battle Dwarf passing on up to Active. Kaoken manages to intercept. Passes to the shield wall. Uh, usually not a good person to pass to. The shield wall will pass it right back. Likes to play um, hot potato basically. Battle Dwarf looking for Cayman up front. Esco snagging the ball away. Passes on up towards Kaoken. Kaoken looking for Titanium. It will happen. Spaced out very well now. Grand Strikers. They do manage to get the ball taken away, but there's the shield wall coming from Titanium. Titanium big plays with that SCV out in front. Titanium gets double teamed yet again. Sneaks through with the shield wall. What just happened? What just happened? Whose shield wall was that? Was that Battle Dwarfs or Titaniums? I'm not sure. But if that was Titaniums, that was extremely sick. Colossus. 
Managed to get the ball here for Grand Strikers. Titanium way out in front there for the, or with the SUV for Grand Strikers. Way, way out in front, but gets, uh, Baldor gets pulsed forward. It's going to shield wall right in front of Titanium. Just trying to delay him just a little bit. Escaho also in position. And oh. Titanium, basically a free shot. Sorry, let's get rid of that. Came in now with the ball for Friend Band Dream Team. They are down 2-0. to zero. I hit all that. Why didn't that work? Huh. Oh well. Anyway. Um, so now we are in the really odd colors here. This combination is very peculiar to say the least. Uh, Titanium with the ball. Passes on into the goal. And he's got another one here for Grand Strikers. Titanium and this lineup looking pretty sick. They're doing a really good job. It's interesting because usually Coloss is playing the uh, offensive role here, but Titanium has kind of switched out of the support role and has now picked up the uh, offensive SCV active. Going to uh, pulse Kaoken away from the ball. Escaho managed to be in good position, though, playing that defensive Marauder. Titanium just getting slammed against the, the boards there. If this were hockey, he'd be hurting. That was a cross check and a half. Coloss. <laughs> Colas passing into the turret there. Just to keep the ball away from Spunks. He does manage to ball, move the ball forward quite a bit, but uh, came in and picks it up, passes to Baldorf. Baldorf now with the ball for Friend Band Dream Team. Baldorf trying to find somebody. Titanium throws down a turret, manages to deter Baldorf from passing it, and sneaks, sneaks the ball back to Colas. Colas tries to kick it up through the shield wall. Uh, he finds out the hard way that Osmosis does not work in this scenario. Kaoken with the shot, threads the needle. 4-0 in favor of Grand Strikers. Spunks with the ball. 4-4 four, four Strikers, one cup. For 4 Strikers, one cup. I'm sorry. He needs to change the clan tag. What the hell? Uh, for uh, Friend Band Dream Team. Uh, active with the ball now. Ken came and snag it. Nope, Ken, Ken with that Nidus. Keep things alive there for this play. Friend Band Dream Team active. Manages to sneak the ball to Baldorf. Baldorf, great position. Sneaks the ball away from Escaho. And there we go. Goal for Friend Band Dream Team. Staying alive. Staying alive. Ah, ah, ah. Staying alive. Escaho with the ball. Four Grand Strikers. Can he find Titanium? He's looking. Titanium is there. And so is Spunks. Spunks sneaks the ball away. Passes it on over towards Active. Active. Can't find Cayman. Esco grabs the ball. Titanium now. Avoiding that shield wall. Getting it to Coloss. Coloss is way down low. He retains the ball. Looking for Esco. No, he's going to go ahead and shoot. 5-1 to one now in favor of Grand Strikers. He's starting to run away with this game. Spunk's passing the ball up towards Active. Active. Looking for Cayman. Coloss, good position. Steals the ball away from Cayman. Pulses him away. Coloss hanging on to the ball. Trying to juke Cayman a little bit. Esco with a nice little steal. Titanium. Can't grab the ball away from Spunks. They do a little exchanging. Spunk's going to have to grapple it back. Moves the ball forward for active. Kaokin holds on to the ball, though, for Grand Strikers. Kolos, the wide open field here. Cayman quickly moves down into position. Spunk's getting into position as well. Esco, wide open. Battle Dwarf grabs the ball, though. Spunk's! Oh! Punish the ball right in. Esco, beautiful play. 6-1 to one now in favor of Grand Strikers. Escaho tries to steal the ball away from Cayman. Doesn't happen. Active. Going to blink forward. Nice play, but even better punish there coming from Escaho. Cayman trying to move the ball forward. Just throw it at the goal. And there we go. It works. Baldorf just shoves it in. They will not have the ball control, though, for the half. That's always a problem, but they do manage to get the game a little bit closer with that one goal. 
Esco gonna switch on over to the Queen right now. He was doing some pretty good work with that uh, with that Marauder. I don't know if I like that change. I don't know if I like that change. Esco, of course, has a brilliant Queen, but uh, he was he was doing some serious work with that Marauder. Worked really well with that lineup. Three. Anyway. Two. It appears that's going to be the only change across both teams. Esco finds Titanium. Titanium. Possibly looking for Kaokin. Deep. Threads the fucking needle. Kaokin steals the ball back. Beautiful play! Kaokin, huge play. Basically, was it two versus one there? Really nice pass for the setup from Titanium. Spunks, now with Wolf of Friend and Dream Team. He's going to go ahead and pass to Cayman. I kind of like Battle Dwarf as the better pass there, but uh, I don't know. Telos with the ball for Grand Strikers. Moving things up pretty well, but Spunks with a good grapple gets in a good position with that shield wall. Titanium, ooh, gets pulsed forward. He, he was not behind the ball, though, so the ball did not come with him. Uh, some good control there by Kaokin. Manages to keep the ball in play, but Spunks takes it away. Esco takes it right back. Titanium does a little spin move and manages to get right past Cayman. 8-2 to two now in favor of Grand Strikers. Active with the ball for Fenban Dream Team. Tries to get it to Cayman, doesn't happen. Esco. Oh, nice pulse there by Kolos. Esco is in good position. What was that grapple? What the, what, what the, what the fuck? What the? I don't understand that grapple. Titanium throws down the turret. They're looking for the ball. It's inside the turret. <laughs> what happened? Did he try to pass it out of the turret? I don't know. I do not know. Spunks now with the ball. For a friend band dream team. Looking for Cayman doesn't happen. Beautiful, sick grab there by Esco. Titanium jukes oh. out the... Wow. Some next level shit going on. Titanium juked out that uh, that grapple and uh, went back in to grab the ball and then shot it right back out. That was, that was a really nice play there from Titanium. Spunks moving on up to sidelines. Looking for Battle Dwarf, who does actually retain control over Kolos. He's going to pass right into Escaho, though, and uh, that shield wall is seeing, seeing all kinds of play right now. It's seen a lot of balls. Spunks looking for Cayman doesn't happen. Coverage on Cayman has just been ridiculous. I, I'm pretty sure that just Grand Strikers hates him at this point. Uh, they have been covering Cayman really, really well. He's just not getting any opportunities. Titanium moving the ball forward for Grand Strikers. This could be another goal here. It oh. is. 10 to 2 now for Grand Strikers. Uh, this is this game is basically over at this point, but it is possible. There is four minutes left. Crazier things have happened. Battle Dwarf. Taking advantage of the shield wall. Trying to at least. Box off Titanium. Titanium just going to juke, turn around, pass it back to Eskahel. Kaokin tries to push, but he runs into Active's push. Uh, he does throw Nidus down, though, so he keeps, keeps control. Kolos, uh, decent position. Yes, he does manage to take it away from Spunks. Kolos out in front. Does he have the pass? I don't think he looks for it. Finds it. Finds Titanium. Titanium, as soon as he grabs the ball, just kicks it up. Kolos blinks in position. Does a sick body block against Kamen. Cayman tries to move it up along the sidelines, but he kicks it out instead. Kolos now with the ball. He might just be throwing it at the goal here, hoping for something to happen. And let's go. Oh, can't hang on. Friend Band Dream Team still holds on to the ball. Cayman looking for the jukes. It's going to happen. What happened? Oh, no, Cayman. Oh, no, Cayman. That looked like horrible lag. Oh, that sucks. I don't know what happened right there. Cayman tries to get the ball away. Kaokin takes it right back. Active now with the ball in the middle. And another save. Big saves here coming from Friend Band Dream Team. Oh! oh. The grapple goes out. Kolos jumps in, takes the ball away, and scores. 11 to 2 in favor of the Grand Strikers right now. Ball being passed up. Again, Spunk's looking for Kamen. It's just not happening. They, are, they have locked Kamen down. He hasn't done anything in this game. 
he has done nothing in this game. I think it's time that you just switch the unit at this point. He just, he needs something. I mean, they've got two minutes left. You might as well, you know, fuck it, give it a try. See if you can do something. But the probe is just not, it's not working right now. Of course, as I say that, he gets a freaking goal, right? No. Okay, so Kaoken sees the ball back. And again, Kamen is, is just not really been a factor in this game. He hasn't really been contributing. They've locked him down. Titanium looking for Eskihel. Finds him. The grapple comes out from Spunks. It's not going to do any work here, though. The uh, pulse coming from active pushes Spunks forward. And now Eskihel playing that offensive queen. Baldorf coming back. He should be able to get this ball pretty easy. Trying to bait out that shield from Titanium. He does. Baldorf tried to anticipate the shield uh, going down. It didn't happen. Titanium sneaks it back. Throws down the shield, though. Baldorf manages to delay the goal here. Might make the save. Yes, he does. Gets it to Spunks. There's a scrum through the middle. I can't tell who's got it. There we go. Baldorf with the ball again. Friend Band Dream Team, really nice at picking up those loose balls. Uh, but, uh, you know, Grand Strike is just playing too strong right now. Goal. Another goal. Full loss this time. 12 to 2 in favor of the Grand Strikers. Grand Strikers seems to be finding their stride in this third game. Let's see if they uh, keep mauling people in the rest of the games. Came in. Goal. Finally scoring a goal there for Friend Band Dream Team. And there we go. Nice, nice, nice. Good plays all around. So Grand Striker is going to pick up the series. Interesting to note, Grand Band Dream Team is the only team, I believe, that has pushed Grand Strikers to Game 3. I think. I'm pretty sure. Spunk's going to grab the MVP there. Uh, I think probably my MVP for that game 